Hello and a very warm welcome to Old Trafford, the home of Manchester United, which stages the prestigious, glamorous friendly between last summer's World Cup finalists Argentina and Portugal. Well, straight away, let's have a look at the two teams. Argentina, seven changes to the side, which won 2-1 in last week's friendly against Croatia at West Ham United's Upton Park. Only Messi, Mascherano, Di Maria and Ansaldi retain their places. Coach Tata Martino taking the opportunity of using as many of his squad as possible in this final international of 2014. Portugal, four changes to the team that won 1-0 at home to Armenia in last Friday's European Championship qualifier. Beto replaces Rui Patricio in goal. Bruno Alves comes into defence for Ricardo Cavalho. Thiago Gomez receives a senior international debut at left-back in place of Rafael Guerrero. Andre Gomez gets a start in midfield. Helder Postiga drops down to the substitutes bench. Well, so much quality in both of these deep squads and we can expect a maximum of six substitutions available to the respective coaches Tata Martino and Fernando Santos. Well, Lionel Messi has lost his Ballon d'Or crown of course to Cristiano Ronaldo and will be hoping to retain it when the glittering ceremony arrives again in Zurich in January but this man in the eyes of many is currently unassailable at the top of the world game but both he and Messi the centerpieces of tonight's match reducing world-class players to seemingly a supporting role there's plenty of friendly matches around the globe this evening but none carry the quality of player of this one it's the first meeting of Argentina and Portugal since 2011 a friendly in Geneva which for the record Argentina 1-2-1 Ronaldo and Messi both scored Messi getting the winner from the penalty spot in the 90th minute this is the eighth meeting in total Mascherano looks like he's going to operate in that holding midfield role. First involvement for Messi. Now Lucas Pilia. Mascherano. Going to try and pick out Ansaldi. Free kick conceded by Otamendi. Nani earning uh, Portugal a throw, Nani back at his former club. Actually, still a Manchester United player, of course, Nani, but he has left for a loan spell at uh, Sporting Lisbon. Only incidentally, Ronaldo's second match back at Old Trafford since he left in 2009. It's Pepe going to and Portugal throw. Finds Bruno Alves. Roar as Ronaldo gets his first touch. 23 goals already this season for Real Madrid. It's more than double Messi's tally for Barca, incidentally. Here's Higuain, supporting behind from Messi. From the feed, the run of Bilia. Higuain, Mascherano. Works kindly here for Ronaldo, can't find a way past to Ron Caglia. Here's Ansaldi, who scored against Croatia last week. Looking for Di Maria. Met by his former Manchester United teammate, Pepe. Di Maria, of course, now a big favourite here at Old Trafford. 
It's Tata Martino. Like his opposite number, Fernando Santos. New head coaches for these two since the World Cup in Brazil. Santos came in for Paulo Bento after Portugal lost their opening European Championship qualifier. Surprisingly, 1-0 at home to Albania. Since then, though, they picked up a couple of 1-0 wins in Denmark and at home to Armenia. Both occasions, Ronaldo, as he invariably is, was the saviour for Portugal. A goal in each. Dimitrelis for Ron Caglia. This is Pastori. Lucas Bilia. Ron Caglia. Messi. Ron Caglia. In a good crossing position here. Decided not to take it on first time. Portugal operating with uh, number 10, Danny, in principally the centre-forwards role tonight. As Helder Postiga has been relegated to the substitutes bench. Ronaldo will fill up, obviously, in support. There's Messi. Messi again. Lovely little ball to Di Maria. And only just wide. Mengel Di Maria set up from Messi just a little cute pass here from Messi into the stride of Di Maria and the game's opening chance falling to Di Maria and Argentina by Thiago. Danny was fouled by Otamendi. Otamendi suggesting that Danny was leaning in with the elbow, not just getting his body in between Otamendi and the ball. I don't think there was much wrong with what Danny did there. Well, no angle is beyond this man. But the free kick is, surprisingly. Certainly seen Ronaldo take them on from this position, but he's given way here to Nani. Flipped away off the head of Ansaldi. And Caglia with the Argentina throw, winning on his third cap, plays his club football in Italy with Genoa. It's a nice slick passing from Argentina, Ansaldi for Di Maria. Nice tempo to the opening minutes. And Caglia did well to keep that in. Mascherano Lucas Biglia Ron Caglia Messi and Salvi good angle for the cross here but can't get it beyond that Portugal defence great for Ansaldi again this time straight to Pepe Throw for Portugal, taken by Jose Bosinguo, who's found his way back into the international fold after four years away. One of several players who had a fallout with the former coach, Paolo Bento. Plays in Turkey with traps on spore these days.
Di Michelis. There are several Argentina players who play just across the city. The Etihad with Manchester City. Nani. Oh, he's turning into traffic there, but there was contact from Ansaldi. I don't think Martin Atkinson, the English referee, can have any doubt that that was a foul. For Singua. No free kick. Portugal right back. This is Javier Pastore. Good looking pass. If Di Maria can keep this in. Argentina are in business. Only Higuain in the middle. Di Maria sought him out. And it was comfortable for Beto. There's Ronaldo. Crowd enjoyed a little stepper over or two there from Cristiano Ronaldo. It wasn't that long ago that a group of Manchester United fans paid for a, an aeroplane to fly over a La Liga match, trailing behind it a banner saying, come home, Cristiano. Well, he is home, in inverted commas, and it won't be for long. There's been some speculation that Messi might play his career in England at some stage, but I think that speculation is wayward of the truth if anything he'll see most of his career out with Barcelona and then go back to Newell's old boys to finish things off the, in the city of his birth Rosario Mascherano Pastori and Saldi Otamendi, Di Michelis, Leo Messi, looks to take on the debutant, Thiago Gomez, Bilia, looks for Messi again, flag stays down, oh, and right across the face, it was such a, an acute angle, he just couldn't find the back of the net, but that little burst of acceleration from Lionel Messi, how often we've seen it onside, Pepe playing him on. May just have touched off the near post of the goalkeeper Beto, we'll see it from this terrific angle, yep. Just came off the post. And he was close. Argentina. With a measure of control, the two openings falling for Di Maria and Messi. Space for Pastore. Messi. Lovely ball into the path here. Javier Pastore, but the danger was cut out by Pepe, who couldn't complete the clearance. And it's something of a gift for the corner here to Argentina. Keep an eye out on the number six for Argentina, who's very strong in the air, Nicolas Otamendi. He's had a wonderful start to his career in Spain with Valencia. Earning his place back in the Argentina squad. Here's Di Maria. There will be no ball anywhere near Otamendi, as it turned out. This is Ansaldi. Bilia. Otamendi. Toronto looking for Iguain, put out by Alves. Free kick. He's come against uh, Andre Gomez. It's an encouraging start for 
Argentina I have to say they're being afforded the space by Portugal in which to work their passing game Portugal take for Beto releases here for Bosingua Turn possession there, but it's broken for Andre Gomez. Quickly closed down by Bilia Pastori. Bilia Messi. Don't often see him come as deep as this to link the play. He's adapting his game. Lionel Messi doesn't make quite so many of those devastating dynamic runs at the top end of the pitch. It's actually where he played a lot of his Barcelona career coming up through the ranks in that. Almost deep lying number 10 role. Di Maria. Messi. This is Ron Caglia. Bruno Alves to concede another corner here to Argentina. Decent run forward by the fullback. Kundu and Keglia earning Argentina this latest corner to be taken by Di Maria. Messi across for Di Maria to possibly use a short one here, tracked by Moutinho though. Beto stretching and finding good hands. Here's Ronaldo. Pepe. Danny Mascherano who continues to play in midfield despite playing virtually all of his club career with Barcelona as a central defender in the last three seasons Ron Caglia it's a terrific ball from Di Maria here's Messi Moutinho got to him quickly and that was important Thiago. Oh, lovely flick from Ronaldo. Opens a space here for Bosingua. And he's overcooked that. And that has to be a disappointment for Jose Bosingua, who was freed by a lovely, delightful touch here from Ronaldo. the goalkeeper Nahuel Guzman forced to kick long which is what Portugal were looking for loose pass by Thiago here's Di Maria Pepe got back goal side really quickly and his teammates will be happy that it's only a corner and not a shot on goal for Di Maria that's the misplaced pass from Thiago but Pepe had the pace to stay with Di Maria Otamendi and Di Michelis forward for this, just beyond the run of Otamendi. He was close to getting contact on that. Mascherano. And Saldi. Argentina continuing to dominate possession. Here's Messi. Bilia, Mascherano, space on the left here for Christian Ansaldi, Di Maria, Pastori, A nice football from Argentina but Martin Ekinson has pulled the play back, it was a late challenge by Nani, 
That's painful. One Manchester United player on another. They're not teammates this season. I mentioned earlier Nani on loan at Sporting Club of Lisbon at the moment, but Di Maria really felt Nani's attention there. And he's actually stayed down here. Penny for the thoughts. Not only of Tata Martino watching Di Maria struggling, but Louis van Gaal, I wonder what he's thinking. He'll be wincing at the possibility that Di Maria's picked up a nasty one here. That'll be a pity for Di Maria, more than a pity for that man. Manchester United manager if uh, Di Maria has a, a lasting issue I tell you what the picture does not look good here serious challenge again that's uh, I'm afraid if I'm not being too unkind here to Nani I don't think he's got too much of an eye on the ball watch it's a strange uh, angle for his left foot to arrive on Di Maria I've got to say that It's good to see that Di Maria is getting to his feet, but that really hurt. Stamped down on the instep. Quite easily break a metatarsal like that. Still grimacing Di Maria as he comes off onto this near side to get some more treatment. At the moment, Argentina play without him. Mascherano Otamendi and Saldi <laughs> Lucas Billia Ron Caglia. Good run from Messi. Bruno Alves across swiftly. And that's a foul by Di Michelis on Ronaldo. Just lost his footing here, Messi. Messi incidentally says he's having to adapt his game to playing on the right hand side again. Often in the last couple of seasons he's been used principally in a, a central role by Barcelona. Di Maria. Oh, no lasting problem after that altercation with Nani. Good looking cross. Bruno Alves ahead of Higuain. Importantly he was. Here's Thiago, Alves, and uh, Billia just took an arm in the face there from Bruno Alves. to Mendy. It's loose from Di Michelis. And invites Portugal up the pitch here with João Martinho. Tiago Gomes. Braga left back, making his debut at the age of 28 for Portugal. Here's Messi, wants to get into overdrive here. Higuain, support left and right, support left is Di Maria. Oh, the 
Ramos was on there, but just didn't carry the weight from Di Maria. Pastore made really an excellent run for him. Here's Pastore again. Gonzalo Higuain. Caglia offering the width. Bilia. Di Maria is width again in this Argentina attack. If Di Maria wants to use Ansaldi, they'll settle for the throw. to Mendy. It's a poor pass from Ansaldi. Well, Fernando Santos, a veteran manager, has uh, had international experience before with uh, Greece. Put Greece uh, Santos to the quarterfinals of the last European Championships. He was also in charge of them uh, in the World Cup in Brazil, took them to the last 16. Bilia. Really using the full extremity of this Old Trafford pitch, Argentina pushing and Saudi. The left back and Roncaglia, the right back, right onto the touch lines to make this pitch as big as possible. Portugal get to find a rhythm. This is the final international of 2014. Argentina warming up for the Copper America next year in Chile. Portugal's European Championship qualifying campaign doesn't resume again until March. Free kick against Javier Pastore. Pepe. Di Maria. Here's Messi. Running at Thiago Gomez. And Caglia arriving to his right. Another good run from the fullback. And Pastore! Marbeto equal to the Javier Pastore header. But again, Facundo Roncaglia doing well, the right back. Just seemed to slightly lose his feet there, Beto, but it was a relatively comfortable stop in the end. Pastore has not always been a regular in the Argentine side. It's his 16th cap, the Paris Saint-Germain midfielder. Lionel Messi. Ronaldo doing the defending. Still on the periphery of the game though, Cristiano Ronaldo. That could change in the blink of an eye. Bilia. Messi's pass cut out by Pepe. For Singua. Moutinho guides the header nicely for Singua. 
There's Jose Basingo, he's in behind Argentina here, excellent ball in, taken off the toe of Ronaldo, but he's there again, Ronaldo! And it's over. Well, he was twisting, turning, almost sending Billy out of the ground. But couldn't hit the target, Basingo in behind the left side of that Argentina defence. When Caglia did enough to hold Ronaldo up, and he still got his shot away. And the first sight of goal for the prolific Cristiano Ronaldo. Argentina breathe a sigh of relief. But his eyes would have lit up when Bosingo had produced the earlier cross. First threat from Portugal. Here's Messi. Again, Pepe in the way of the pass. This is Danny. Andre Gomez, Thiago Gomez. Just a little lift in the tempo from Portugal, it seems. Nani. Wayne. He's given that away to Thiago. Here's Moutinho. Ronaldo. Got there ahead of Ansaldi. Martin Atkinson's going to produce a yellow card here for Christian Ansaldi. I don't really think the referee's got much more of an option here. Ronaldo towed the ball before Ansaldi could arrive and uh, it's a clear foul and the referee decides hmm. I think he does try to pull out of it in fairness looking at that uh, replay Ansaldi it may just have been that R Ronaldo was engaging the contact but the yellow card goes to Argentina's number three Uh, Nani will be looking to place this just beyond the penalty spot. It's just about where Ronaldo is placed on the edge of the area, but beyond that penalty spot. And it's in there. Uh, no Portugal shirt can get on the end of it. That was a decent free kick from Nani. But no takers. I think there's a certain amount of relief for Otamendi who thrust out a leg at fresh air Messi away from Andre Gomez Bruno Alves hesitating Pastore struck Messi back with Pastore and a free kick to Argentina challenge on Pastore Card this time for Moutinho. Well, if Ansaldi's getting one for what he produced at the other end, there's no doubt Moutinho was getting booked there. Well, a wonderful position here for Messi. It's just about the perfect angle for his left foot. Well, the goalkeeper will be facing Messi at the weekend in La Liga. Beto plays for Sevilla, who play Barcelona at the Camp Nou this coming weekend. I suspect the Portugal goalkeeper will be facing a few Messi free kicks in that league fixture at the weekend. He faces one now. Old Trafford lights up to mobile phone cameras can be seen all around the stadium as Messi delivers but over thrust his head back in slight disappointment there got some velocity in the shot but not dipping had it been on target I think Beto was covering it
Messi. Not quite found the range of this passing yet. Thiago Gomez. Run into a good challenge from Pilia. Di Maria and Higuain in the middle. Messi looks for Pastore who's arriving late. Pepe produced a good header. Here's Otamendi. Lots of space for Ron Caglia again. Just a little nudge there from Villa. It was an issue for Portugal because the left back who's making his debut, Thiago Gomes, is being exposed because there's a whole raft of space in front of the Portugal left back. And he's not really getting much in terms of Ronaldo or Danny or Thiago covering the space in front of him. It's an area in which Argentina are getting some value out of the right back, Ron Caglia. Mascherano, he's looked offside, Di Maria, and flag is up. Darren England, the assistant on the far side. It's a correct decision, it's tight, but it's right. Pepe, Andre Gomez, Bosingua, Moutinho, Danny, support from Bosingua, decides not to use him, this is Moutinho, Pepe, Ronaldo, Free kick's gone against Ronaldo, who looks as if he was the man on the end of the challenge from Ron Caglia. I'm not sure what Ronaldo does wrong there. I think he can feel aggrieved that the free kick went against him. Here's Messi. Well, Caglia releasing up in support again. Uses a decoy by Messi. Di Michelis. Messi. Pilia, Pastore for Di Maria, slow build up this from Argentina, now they look to quicken it, Pastore edged out here by Thiago Gomez, and the late developer into the senior international picture at 28, Thiago Gomez of Braga, getting his opportunity because three left backs are missing from the Portuguese squad at the moment Fabio Contrao Vitorino and Tunez and Eliso all injured here's Higuain just out of his reach close run thing though for Gonzalo Higuain Pepe running out of pitch a problem with the ball here I think they uh, want another one and it's quickly delivered Otamendi
Pastori. It's away from Andre Gomez. Higuain. Oh, the flick didn't work for Ansaldi. Away comes for Singwa. Nani. Di Michelis in charge. What a heavy back pass there. And then it's uh, out of play via Otamendi. It was a nervy moment for the goalkeeper winning only his second senior cap for Tata Martino. And he's replaced Alex Savella since the World Cup. And uh, the feet of Guzman just about worked there for Argentina. Now he almost had work to do before he could reach him. Otamendi was in the way to corner to Portugal. Nani will get across to take this. Pepe has made his way forward, so too Bruno Alves. Ronaldo trying to escape the attentions of Di Michelis in the penalty area. Header was won initially by Bruno Alves. Thiago Gomez, Alves. Shapes a good looking ball in and Guzman takes all the pressure off his defence with a good take. Not the best of clearances though. Plays his club football in uh, Mexico, Manuel Guzman. Replacing the normal first choice goalkeeper, Sergio Romero. Bosingua. Oh, nicely judged there by Danny. This is Thiago Gomez trying to shake off Messi. It's furthest forward we've seen Thiago Gomez so far. Throw for Portugal. Here's Nani. Doesn't want to lose possession there, and he probably nearly did. Borsingwa. This is Thiago. Ronaldo's free. Running at Ansaldi. Now Moutinho. It's awkward. But he made it more awkward than perhaps it should have been Nicolas Otamendi. And Portugal have their latest corner. It was an awkward uh, little push of the right leg, wasn't it, from Otamendi? Nani with the corner. Here's Pepe. Oh, and uh, Ronaldo has caught uh, Bilia there. It's just accidental, immediately offering his apology here, Cristiano Ronaldo. But he definitely caught Lucas Bilia. Just his eyes on the ball there, he didn't, uh, he didn't see where Bilia was, but that was painful. See the reaction straight away from Ronaldo here. Certainly not this the wind out of the Lazio midfielder, Lucas Piglia. In terms of the chances so far in this game, Argentina have had the better. There are plenty of interested onlookers for a game as prestigious and glamorous as this, and the familiar figure of Marianne Fellaini, Marianne Fellaini of Manchester United these days.
Manchester United player hoping to play some part this evening. Carlos Tevez had a little bit of a spell out of favour, didn't make the World Cup squad. Tata Martinez re returned him to the fold. So at the moment, Argentina down to 10. Villa receives uh, treatment after that contact from Ronaldo, which was completely accidental. Ron Caglia. Otamendi. And Saldi. Di Michelis, Pilio is back on the field again. Pastori. Here's Messi. Going to find out very shortly from the fourth official Lee Probert how much stoppage time will be as Beto makes a comfortable take. Not had a couple of lengthy stoppages, injuries to Pilia and Di Maria. So I would think there'll be at least three extra minutes added on, maybe a little more. Borsingwa. Mascherano looking to stay with him. No nonsense from Otamendi. Well, only one minute. A little surprised at that, given we've had two lengthy stoppages for injury. Here's Messi. Mascherano for Ansaldi. Looking to take on for Singua. Decent run this to Mansaldi. Well, stings the hands, but no more of Beto. Di Michelis. Mascherano. Martin Atkinson blows for half time. Lionel Messi. Ten seconds to commentary. Well, welcome back to Old Trafford for this prestigious friendly between the Summer World Cup finalists Argentina and Portugal. Goalless at half-time. And Portugal are going to make three changes at half-time. We're looking at the three players preparing to come on. Southampton's Jose Font for his senior international debut, the number four. He'll come on for Pepe at the heart of the defence. Ricardo Quaresma is going to be the replacement for Cristiano Ronaldo. And we're also going to see Eder coming on to replace Danny in attack. Just waiting to learn if there'll be any changes in personnel for Tata Martino and Argentina, who are making their way out from the dressing room very shortly. Well, always likely that 
the two coaches were going to make changes and use as much of the squad as possible. And we have lost both Lionel Messi and Ronaldo at half time. I think obviously a message from their respective coaches. Ancelotti and uh, Luis Enrique. That their star men wouldn't play a full game here. So on for Argentina in place of Messi comes Nicolas Gaetan. Gaetan of Benfica comes on for his ninth senior cap. Javier Mascherano has taken over the captain's armband in place of Messi. Be a disappointment for the crowd that they only saw 45 minutes of the world's top two players. The argument continues to rage on as to who is the better of the two. I suppose in many ways it's a futile argument. History will judge Messi and Ronaldo. Trophies won and overall influence on the game. And uh, Ronaldo was on record as saying that he hoped to make his peace with Messi personally tonight after comments in a recent book about Leo Messi that Ronaldo had an unrepeatable nickname for Leo Messi, which he has denied vehemently. And maybe at uh, kickoff time tonight, they made or Ronaldo made his peace with Messi. Anyway, neither of them out there now, which is a shame, but understandable. Both will be required by their clubs, Real Madrid and Barcelona, in La Liga this coming weekend. There's uh, Thiago Gomez, whose senior debut continues, left back. First involvement for Gaetan, he's got a free kick out of Nani. Di Maria will get over the Argentina free kick. Di Michelis and Otamendi have joined Higuain. Too close to Beto. It's poor touch by Quaresma. Here's Font, part of a very good Southampton defence in the English Premier League this season. They have the best defensive record in all four divisions in England. Throw here for Bosingua. It's a back of Moutinho, it's João Moutinho again. Edea trying to get in there. And a free kick has been signalled by Darren England, the assistant on the far side, against Ed Air. Koresma. Moutinho, another throw for Portugal. Quaresma, smart turn. Hooked away by Di Michelis. And eventually Argentina will have the throw there for Ansaldi. Rafa Benitez, another familiar face. The Napoli head coach. There's been some speculation that he might want to come back to England and maybe a second spell at Liverpool, but only speculation at the moment. Well, he's 
Lots of space here for Di Maria. They stretch here, Portugal. Iguain's offside. Flags already up. Mike Malarkey had that flag raised very quickly. And they had a two on one here. Just didn't hold his run, Iguain. It's a correct decision from Mike Malarkey, the assistant. But really, looking along the line, he'll be disappointed in himself there, Iguain. Thiago Gomez looks like he's uh, pulled a hamstring here. Uh, disappointment for Fernando Santos, who gave Gomez his senior debut tonight. I mentioned earlier in commentary, he's without three left backs. That's why Gomez has come out of the shadows to win that first cap. But uh, his evening is about to be shortened. The likely replacement would be Rafael Guerrero, who only made his debut in the European Championship qualifying win against Armenia last Friday. And here is Guerrero. All reports said that it was a very encouraging first appearance in the senior national team, just 20 years old. And a straight swap here at left back. Now, they don't want to get a problem for Guerrero. I know there isn't an international for a while, but to be without five left backs is stretching matters into rather uncomfortable territory. And it gives these uh, young players an opportunity. Rafael on for his second cap. Plays in France with Lorient. Guerrero. Edea chasing a rather loose pass from Pastore. This is going to be a test for Guzman. Nice touch from Gaetan. Here's Iguain. Looks for Di Maria, but easily cut out by Beto. Nani, the latest to be struggling with an injury, just holding the. Achilles area there. Showing the damage to Martin Atkinson, the referee. Well, he wants everybody to have a look. Nanny. Just maybe caught slightly there, but nothing to exercise the referee in any shape or form we can sense some of the atmosphere has gone out of Old Trafford since uh, Ronaldo and Messi have not reappeared for the second half but nevertheless we could still have a very good second half here there's no important points to be gained this is not the World Cup but nevertheless neither side will want to go away with the defeat rest assured on that in by Bosingua dealt with by Mascherano and Saldi. Edea used his physical strength but overdid it in the eyes of referee Atkinson. Here's Bilia. One Caglia. Gaitan. Mascherano steps away from Quaresma. Overload on the right hand side briefly, but Mascherano's pass was a poor one. A wonderful World Cup he had. A lot of talk was about Messi. And that run for Argentina to the final, but Mascherano 
produced some heroic performances in midfield, not least in the semi-final. Here's Andre Gomez, had a quiet game so far. Seen a bit of Andre Gomez playing for Valencia in La Liga this season, and I always think he's better playing higher up the pitch. He's uh, an all-round box-to-box midfielder, but he's got essentially a holding role tonight for the coach, Santos. Overdone, I think, by Bilia. Wasn't too far out of the reach of Di Maria, though. Here's Guerrero for Thiago. Higuain claiming the throw and getting it. On either side at the moment, much of a goal threat. Here's Pastore. Di Maria. himself a corner here, and start to Nani. Had a brilliant start to his Manchester United career, Di Maria, but uh, just ebbed away a little bit. But new culture, new league. It was remarkable that he started so well. And of course, we know all of his talent could prove to be a really excellent acquisition for Manchester United. It's Di Michelis of Manchester City. Bilia. Mascherano didn't want that pass. And, uh, Portugal opportunity to move forward, denied by the referee's whistle. It was a foul by Thiago. And a yellow card for the Atletico Madrid midfielder. Thiago, another returning to the international picture after a long layoff, four years. Another who fell out with the previous coach, Paolo Bento. Higuain, just a little nudge there on Bruno Alves. Higuain just saying this was a good old fashioned shoulder charge, but uh, more often than not, you'll have a free kick given against you for that. Plays these days in Italy with Napoli, as a manager watching on. I'm sure there'll be an opportunity for Tevez to light up this glamorous international friendly, which is in need of some goal math action at the moment, has to be said. And there's some too many stoppages for comfort for niggly little fouls Gaetan trying to find a way past for Simba here's Font Moutinho Eder Nani could open this out here for Guerrero he does so just under hit the pass, so allowed Ron Caglia to niggle back. Di Maria, has he got the pace to get beyond Andre Gomez, who's got more power and covered well. Singwa just up nicely for Quaresma. Still Ricardo Quaresma, Moutinho, Thiago, Guerrero. Back out with Thiago. Coming away rather cheaply. And here's Bilia, Di Maria. Chance to run at that Portuguese defence. Want to cut in onto his left foot here. Still Di Maria. Heavy touch though. 
And Argentina with Mascherano. Gaetan. Not much movement ahead of him, so he has to go back here with Otamendi. Di Michelis. Nicolas Otamendi, Pastore, Gaetan, decent run this, making inroads into that Portugal defence, Nicolas Gaetan, here's Ansaldi, Di Maria, and that's lifted the atmosphere at Old Trafford, a shot on goal, Ansaldi with the set up here for Di Maria, struck it well, Beto in the Portugal goal, always dealing with it. And a change here now for Argentina. Got a couple of changes. Gonzalo Higuain is coming off. Going to be replaced by Carlos Tevez. So going to see Eric Lamella. And here's Higuain coming off. Carlos Tevez. And uh, Eric Lamella getting his chance, the Tottenham Hotspur midfielder. Confirmation that Di Maria was the man to make way for Lamella. It's a little heavy that from Otamendi, just forced Guzman to scuttle a little bit to keep it in. Both uh, coaches have now made three substitutions. They are allowed a maximum of six. Sorry, Portugal have made four now. Of course, they had that injury in the second half to Thiago Gomez. Ron Kegli. Dr. Mendy. Nice ball from Pastori. Here's Tevez. Gaetan. Bilia. Free kick against Koresma. Just caught the toe end there of Otamendi, Ricardo Koresma. Comes for Porto. And, uh, it's a pretty lengthy international career. Charisma hasn't always fulfilled it, not yet to 40 caps yet. The 31 year old as Beto waits in that Argentina, or rather Portugal goal for Argentina to come forward and, and Saudi's cross. Not the worst, but no takers inside the six yard area in the blue and white. Caglia. This is Tevez. And away comes Andre Gomez. Dimichelis. And Saldi. Mascherano. Good run here from Gaitan. It's an excellent effort from Nicolas Gaitan. Lovely ball, this though, from Mascherano. Speared onto the head here of Gaitan, who was onside, just coming on the blind side of the young fullback, Rafael Guerrero. Beto always hoping it would travel wide, and it did. No 
certainly Argentina look the more likely to make the breakthrough. Portugal getting ready to make another change. Adrien Silva is going to replace Andre Gomez shortly. Moutinho shuffled down the line here for Eder. Runs into a meaty challenge from Otamendi. Borsingwa. That's a foul by Lamella. Portugal are going to make their change now. This is going to be a senior international <laughs> debut <laughs> to replace Andre Gomez. <laughs> the first cap at this level <laughs> for 25 year old Adrian Silva, who plays for Sporting Club Lisbon. Straight swap in midfield. Just one substitution available now for Portugal. As Bosingua. Surveys the scene over this free kick. That's Caresma, rather. Bruno Alves kept it in, but only for Guzman. Mascherano. Tevez. Gaitan. And Caglia making another burst forward and pushed in the back by Nani. And that is a soft free kick to give away by Nani. He's got his opponent facing the touchline, not threatening the Portuguese goal, and then just runs straight into the back of him. That's inexplicable, really, for a player of his experience and standing. And Fernando Santos, the Portugal head coach will be furious with Nani if they concede from this. It's Gaitan with a free kick. It's comfortably away, under no pressure by Font. And miscue there by Bosingo, but he got away with it. Here's Gaitan, he's looked pretty lively since he came on. Mascherano extending his international caps to 110 tonight, Javier Mascherano. 30 years old, he could yet challenge the record of the great Javier Zanetti. Stands at uh, beyond 140. Juan Caglia. Gaitan. Mascherano. And Saldi's made a good run, the left back. It's an excellent pass to pick out that run from Mascherano to corner. Terrific movement off the ball there by Ansaldi. Thumbs up for the service from the skipper for the second half after the loss of Messi at half time. Javier Mascherano. Corner already taken. Ansaldi can't run onto that. And it's back here with Mascherano. Finds a good pass again here for Lamella. Pastore. Lucas Villa. Di Michelis. So much of the ball tonight, Argentina. Made the vast majority of the chances that have been on view, still no breakthrough. Offside against Pastore.
Well, we have had some famous faces tonight, none more so than the great Sir Bobby Charlton, who graced this stadium for so many wonderful years. Here's Di Michelis. Gaitan. Ron Caglia. Bilia. Space here for Pastori. Now Lamella. Plenty forward in this Argentina attack. Still Eric Lamella. Bilia. Mascherano. Tevez, Moncaglia, patient possession from Argentina, Gaitan, now Guerrero, Thiago, oh, and Bilia thought he'd taken the ball cleanly there, referee saw matters differently. Jose Font, Quaresma, did well to hold off Lamella, Thiago, Silva, Borsingo, Argentina getting ready to make a couple of changes shortly, I understand, Roberto Carrera and Jonathan Silva. Bruno Alves. Guerrero. He's done well now, the fullback. It's good Portugal. Further up the pitch here, when he'll take a quick throw, denied that. That's Eder. Foul by Alves. And we've seen very little of Portugal as an attacking threat. Plenty of Argentina in these positions. Can they make the breakthrough this time? In goes Gaitan. Beto was never troubling Beto. He certainly got the beating of Guerrero in the air. It might be a weapon yet for Argentina. Argentina making their two changes that I mentioned. Roberto Pereira and Jonathan Silva. Off comes Christian and Salvi. He's going to make way for Pastore, he's the other player coming off here. So Pereira will drop into midfield in place of Pastore. Silva will go in at left back instead of Ansaldi. Jonathan Silva of Sporting Club Lisbon. So he's up against one or two of his Portuguese club mates tonight, Silva, just 20 years old, second cap for him, just a fourth cap for Pereira, who's dropped into midfield. And then an opportunity to view some of the fringe players of their respective squads. Ed Air very nearly embarrassed Guzman there. Here's Tevez, there's a play out here for Facundo Roncaglia. Cut out by Guerrero, he's only got Ed Air ahead of him. Looks for him. Pereira. 
Lamela. Bilia. Loose from Tevez. Here's Thiago. Dimitrievis read that ahead of Ede. Oh, Thiago's already on a yellow card, and I think Martin Atkinson would avoid at all costs showing a red card in a friendly, but I think in a competitive game, Thiago might well have been in deep, deep trouble there. And he goes again for the challenge, and this time he's got the free kick. But uh, he would have uh, had a nervy second or two there after he went into that earlier challenge. Well, make your mind up on this one. Oh, well, that's a yellow card all day long in a competitive match. Martin Atkinson has let Thiago away with one there. Mascherano was given away. <sighs> Free kick. Portugal left frustrated, they had a real good break on the Argentina defence there. But the referee decided there was a foul on Mascherano. The latest to stay down and be in some sort of anguish. He's got trodden on there by Quaresma. Tata Martino since he took over from Alex Sabella. Three wins and one defeat. The defeat came in the America de las uh, America Classico de las America game against uh, Brazil. Otherwise it's been wins all the way. Tevez. Silva. Good ball in. Gaitan was just trying to affect the little back heel and kept alive here by Lamella. This is Bilia. Mascherano. Roncaglia. Charisma looking to deal with this, but uh, Jonathan Silva has eventually been penalised for the challenge. But this was the cross that was delivered here by Jonathan Silva and Gaitan, look at that, just trying to flick it over his head and a decent attempt a change now so for Portugal on comes down. William Cavalho, highly rated defensive midfield player coming on to replace Thiago uh, Fernando Santos well aware of that incident a moment or two ago where Thiago doesn't want to risk Another challenge like that, which might just stretch the patience of referee Martin Atkinson. So Cavallo is on. Portugal have used all their six substitutes now. One more left. For Argentina, should Tata Martino wish to make it. I'm sure, the crowd would like to see Sergio Aguero, despite the fact that there'll be a fair amount of Manchester United fans amongst the crowd this evening. But, uh, it's been in great form for Manchester City in the Premier League this season. Lamella, Tevez, Eric Lamella again, Lucas Bilia, Lamella, and Cavallo, Adrian Silva finding Ricardo Quaresma, going have a run here, and Silva, and he's now got plenty of blue and white shirts for company, just didn't make his mind up what he was going to do there, Quaresma. his foul on Otamendi and the 
referee is wanting a word here with Koresma. Roncaglia. Dimichelis. Lamella. It's fair to say most of the support inside Old Trafford tonight is for Portugal. But they have rarely threatened the Argentina goal. And this man would be more than capable of scoring a goal for Argentina if he gets an opportunity. Aguero has hit 12 goals in nine Premier League starts for Manchester City this season. Gaetan swap flanks with Lamella. Bit of space opening up here for Argentina with Pereira. Gaetan might get onto the return here, very nearly did. Away by Borsingua. Moutinho. Edea. Nani. Nani trying to feed the run of Rafael Guerrero. Mascherano in swiftly. Portugal have it back. Here's Nani. Free kick conceded by Lamella. Jose Font, Bruno Alves, and William Cavallo all made their way to join Ed Air. Nani will take the free kick. Oh, very disappointing. It's back with Nani. Can he make amends? He's got another free kick and a yellow card for Lamella. Of any complaints there, Lamella. Now, if we had one CR7 still out here, I would, uh, well, there would be absolutely no doubt he'd be over this free kick. But neither Ronaldo or Messi reappeared after half time. So the free kick is entrusted here to Quaresma. as though he's going to have a go for goal here. No, nope, decides to disappoint again. This is uh, really not very good from Portugal from the last couple of set pieces. No imagination in that at all from Quaresma. Well, Santos will be deeply disappointed with the last two set pieces. He can't understand that. Trouble is, he won't have the players again for a few months. A long gap between the next international game. It's a frustrating time that managers and head coaches of national teams have. Just not enough precious time with the players. Here's Tevez. Chance to release Pereira. Singua calling for better. There's no back pass there. Despite a gentle inquiry from Pereira. Pereira. Dimichelis. So he's going to see the game out. At the age of 33. Really, 
had a quiet time of it at the back alongside Otamendi as Di Michelis. Moncaglia. Mascherano. It's a sloppy pass from him. This is Quaresma. Real chance to threaten here, Ricardo Quaresma. Otamendi with a challenge. And referee Martin Atkinson afforded himself an excellent view of that. And quite rightly allowed play to continue. And here's Gaitan. But Tevez in the middle. It's beyond him. This is Lamella. Can open up for a shot here for Eric Lamella. Decided not to take it on. It's back with Gaitan. Cleared by Guerrero. Here's Carlos Tevez. Bilia, Roncaglia. If there is to be a goal, you still feel it'll come more likely from Argentina. Their possession stats are very high in this game. Haven't created as many chances in the second half as they did in the first. Closest they came was a messy shot from almost on the byline that touched off a post. That's a pullback by uh, Bilia. Oh, and uh, almost a little coming together there between Carlos Tevez and Martin Di Michelis. Is uh, going to have a, a word. It was Nani, of course, getting involved there with Di Michelis. Uh, I just wonder how much uh, both uh, managers will take out of this particular friendly. They won't want to lose, nobody does, and uh, it may well be petering out into a goal or straw this one. Having a climb, surely there, Di Michelis. Referee says no. Ball stayed in. This is Silva. Nani. Cavallo. Otamendi. Straight to Bosingua, here's Quaresma. Now Font. First senior cap for Jose Font. Waited a long time for it. 30 years old he is. Bosingua. Skips away from Gaitan and then showed too much of the ball to Mascherano. Has that innate ability, Javier Mascherano, to sniff danger. Lamella. To pull back clearly there by Silva. Rafael Guerrero. Nani. Bruno Alves. Spears a terrific pass. Pass of the night. Not a bad take either by Quaresma. Into Eder. Well, that's so much better from Portugal. We've really been flat for most of the evening. What a pass from Bruno Alves. Wonderful take as well from Quaresma. And Eder was sniffing his first senior international goal there. No joy in the end for him. It's a foul on Quaresma. Keeps Portugal high up the pitch. Portugal's last win, incidentally, 
Oh God, I don't know whether Fernando Santos is aware of it, having just taken over the national team job. But it was 1972, and the great Eusebio scored in that game. Is there a hero here for Portugal? In by Moutinho, and again, the set pieces. A real disappointment. Quaresma. Quaresma will have a throw here for Portugal. Martin Atkinson has already posted to his fourth official, Lee Probert, as to how much stoppage time will be. We've only got one minute at the end of the first half, and there's two at the end of the second. Here's uh, Guerrero's cross. It's a late charge here from Portugal. Been a long time in coming. Space now for Silva. Oh, it struck it here, turns into a pass for Charisma. Free header! Portugal win it! And it's Rafael Guerrero! And a wry smile passes the lips of the coach, Fernando Santos. And what a moment for the 20 year old Rafael Guerrero. He bought a ticket for the raffle and wins. His debut only last Friday against Armenia and the left back from Lorient in France stoops to conquer and Portugal surely have won it. A thrilling moment for that young man. What an introduction to senior international football. Almost looks past his bedtime. And very, very little time for Argentina to recover. It's up rather than away from Font. More conclusive from Bruno Alves. Martin Atkinson's had a couple of looks at the watch. Possibly the last attack now from Argentina. We're going to have to get the ball forward quickly here. There's no time for the comeback. Rafael Guerrero, the toast of Portugal. Their first win over Argentina for 42 years. And it came in stoppage time only getting his opportunity because they're so short of left-backs. But he's made quite an introduction, and this only his second senior cap tonight.